Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a requested one and it's mainly based on the hydrolysis of esters and I'm going to be using a um, question from the AS papers to help explain it. So usually when drawing a, an ester, the carboxylic acid comes first before the alcohol. But this is not always the case and just stay tuned for the end to find out why. And also, when it comes to naming it, it's always the alcohol first and then the carboxylic acid. For example, ethyl propanoate. So the question is asking us to find out which formula will represent an ester that will form propanoic acid on hydrolysis with dilute sulfuric acid. Now, usually the hydrolysis of a ester is quite slow with just water and that is why they add dilute sulfuric acid because it acts as a catalyst and can help speed up the process. Now hydrolysis is the um, chemical breakdown of a compound using water. So now we have for example part A. When you have a skeletal formula I usually like to add in the carbons. So at each corner there is going to be a carbon. So when we're starting there's going to be three carbons in the carboxylic acid part and two in the alcohol part. Now you'll notice the OH and the H that I have circled and that's the H2O, that's the water that has been added. Now if you want to get rid of it and do the opposite, you'll do this reaction um, of the carboxylic acid and the alcohol with concentrated sulfuric acid because that will act as a dehydrating agent. It will get rid of that water, which is basically the opposite of hydrolysis. Now, if you want to name this, this will be um, ethylpropranoate because again the naming the alcohol comes first and then the carboxylic acid so now uh, if you want to answer this question A would be the answer now I decided to show you guys what A would look like if it was flipped and you'd notice that they're both the same it doesn't matter whether the alcohol or the carboxylic acid comes first when it comes to the drawing but it does matter when it comes to the naming what you have to focus on is the carbon that's connected to the that is bonded or double bond that's formed between the carbon and the oxygen and that's where the carboxylic part is and that's how you know which one will be which which is the carboxylic part and which is which is the alcohol part now um, I'm going to continue um, doing this and solving parts B, C and D and showing you guys what the name of the carboxylic acid would be now for B the carboxylic acid would be 2-methylpropanoic acid that's because um, there is a methyl group on the second carbon and when it comes to naming the, the final part like the propanoic acid or the butanoic acid you're going to take the longest chain which is the three and then you have the one carbon on the second so that is why it's called 2-methylpropanoic acid if you want um, I can do a full video on naming these compounds but for now this is what it is and yeah 